Also tonight, the countdown to the end of early voting in Virginia and North Carolina. Tomorrow is it. Your last chance before the official election day, which comes next Tuesday. And once again today, the lines across the area were long. Ten on your side out very early in Virginia Beach, where people waited to get those votes in. Many states are setting records for early voting. We're not too far behind them. Ten on your side's Andy Fox crunches some of those numbers in Virginia Beach tonight. They keep driving in here at SeaTac Rec Center, one of five places you can vote early in Virginia Beach. And believe me, they are shattering all the early voting records. In Virginia Beach, early voting began September 18th through Thursday. 64,367 people at five polling sites had done this, stood in line to vote. The early voting deadline is Saturday at 5 p.m. Here at the SeaTac Rec Center, 5,574 already have voted through Thursday. Outside, Megan Melton wondering what is now becoming true. There's so much early voting, maybe I'd be better off on Tuesday. And listen to Linda Cooper's story. Today. But this is the first time I ever voted in years. My first time, and I'm excited. Why are you voting this year? What is it? Is it what made you? Do something you haven't done in a long time. We need a change. We need a change in everything. We found a candidate out working the long line at SeaTac, Virginia Beach mayoral candidate R.K. Kowalowicz. And down at the voter registrar's office, we found U.S. Senate candidate Daniel Gade reminding voters he's a Republican. Uh, I'm the Republican running against Mark Warner. <laughs> Look at this two to three hour line to vote, winding its way along the road to our democracy. The right to cast a vote and every vote counts the same. In the 2016 presidential election, there were 32,000 absentee ballots. Now that we have added early voting in person, 108,000 people have now voted through Thursday. Robert Morales thinks of himself as an independent. He's for Trump and doesn't blame him for the pandemic. I guess fight the whole time rather than said, okay, we lost the battle, let's work together. That hasn't happened in the past four years. Some of them have waited two to three hours to vote. After all is said and done, on election day, a third of the registered voters in Virginia Beach will already have voted. That's how energized this election is. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side. And me.